All right, beautiful people. Um, so in today's episode, we're actually going to be going back in time to work on a project where I worked on the truck. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And as you can see, it's winter, it's cold, it's miserable out. And in the video, you get to go back to the summer where it's warm and everything is wonderful. So I will see you guys at the end of the video. All right, beautiful people. So what's the reality? The reality is that what I'm about to do is something that I am a little bit scared to do. Um, we're back on the truck in this video and I am doing this. I am going to replace the lower oil pan and lower oil pan gasket. I am also going to replace the transmission pan gasket and flush all the transmission fluid and maybe replace the transmission filter. A little bit nervous that I'm going to get this apart and not be able to put it back together. Actually, a, a lot nervous. Um, but I've got the truck up on the ramp. It is a relatively nice day, and there is no reason why I should not be capable of doing this. So we're going to give it a shot. And I'm going to bring you guys along for the road. I feel like this is at least a two-parter. Um, we'll see how it goes. All right. See you at the end of the video. So, at some point, I'm just going to have to get over it and understand that this is absolutely okay. I can do this. It's going to be fine. Everything is going to be okay. And I just have to accept that. Because there's no reason why everything wouldn't be okay. So, I'm going to let that drain. So, I totally forgot to get these things. And so to do that, you pinch and they kind of pop through. So I have to take these two off. There we go. So now this is free of the um this is free of the transmission pin. Okay, so back to transmission pin removal. Fluid in there, which we expected, but more than 
We are in the shed and I am cleaning off these magnets. And uh, they're greasy and empty. So, it out. Uh, so, here's what you do you just wipe them off. I suppose I could use some brake clean. Um, the idea is to get any metal out of. And from what I've read, there should be an expectation that there's going to be some metal debris, like you know, metal dust, not too much, but you know, just that's kind of wear and tear on a transmission. But these things look really good, and I'm not seeing lot of metal and gunk here in the transmission. There's no metal chunks, uh, which would be a bad sign, but that would mean something big was broken. Um, but this looks, this all looks pretty good. Next up, I'm going to get this transmission oil pan really clean. I've got some brake clean degreaser. Spray that bad boy down. Oof, that stuff is so gross smelling. Although I guess it's better than transmission fluid. And I'm gonna wipe this out. Get this really nice and clean. Da, 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 da. Okay, um, we're also, we're also going to take a razor and we're going to get rid of the gasket. So I just sprayed the transmission oil pan with some simple green. I'm going to wipe it down with this and then I'll go back and hit it with brake clean again just to make sure. And I'm really just trying to get as much grit and grime off of here as I can. That's you know, not really all that important and no one's going to die and the the underside of that truck is way worse than this, and I'm not giving that nearly as much attention. Um, at some point soon, I'll take it to the car wash and spray out underneath it. We'll see, see how that goes. So the new gasket goes I have a decision to make. 
And that is, am I going to try to replace the transmission filter? Um, now this is something that I find frightening. I don't want to screw this up. And most importantly, I don't want to do something that I can't undo. So I've got a the replacement here. And the one exactly like the one that's here. Cross our fingers. And we go for it. So what I'm going to do is, as I take each piece out, each screw out, I'm going to put it in the old one in the same spot. Because these are all different sizes. And uh, I've heard that mixing them up can cause serious damage. Now, I am a little bit concerned because there are two. There are two, three, I guess it is, three that are actually nuts instead of screws. And so those are going to be tricky. Um, because you can't hold those from. Just going to transfer all of these things over from the new one to the old one. Everything kept straight. And you guys are new how 
nervous I am right now. I'm not going to be able to get those nuts back on. So, as you can probably tell, this isn't my typical type of video that I do. It's not edited in the same way. Um, and really what happened is, over winter break, I edited a bunch of videos to get me through this busy time in my life. And I realized as I was going to post one of the videos that it was out of sequence. And it kind of jumped to the end of the Titan Project. And, well, the end so far of the Titan Project. And so instead of doing that, I kind of chose to Joe jump back in time. Um, so this is going to be a two parter. Uh, and I hope you guys actually learned something because I learned a ton doing this stuff. And um, I'm glad that you guys stuck through the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great and wonderful rest of your day.